Hey everybody, it's George here, and today in this shipbuilding tutorial, we are going to be learning how to build bows. Now, the bow, for those of you who don't know, is the front part of the ship, the bit that is, you know, pushing the water apart right at the front of the ship. Um, and if I just give you an example here, so these, these are bows, okay? And today I'm going to be teaching you a method, really easy, simple, easy to follow method of building bows that will easily allow you to create bows just like this. It really doesn't matter what size bow you want to make, you can make a ship that's 50 blocks wide using this method and it will be perfectly easy to make a bow like that. Okay then, so let's get started. Now bows are pretty much one of the hardest things to make on a ship um, because Obviously, Minecraft isn't the best thing for making curved things, and you've really got to try and make do with these with these blocks that are good old Minecraft have given you. Um, and the method I'm going to show you really allows you to get that curved shape, um, like that. You see, it's sort of curved around the edges. It really allows you to get that curved feel to your ships, and especially the bigger you make it, you can really see that that curved effect. Okay, then so let's get on with the tutorial. Um, now right, okay, I have a method um, of making my bows, and it's really simple to follow. All you need to know is how to count. Now I'm sure you can all do that. So let's get on with this. So depending on how wide, yeah, the, yeah, the first thing you've got to decide on is how wide you want your ship to be. So for instance, let's make a ship that is nine blocks long. So if we just place this in the center here, and four blocks either side, that gives us our width of our ship. Now, the next thing we need to learn now is this really simple method that I told you about. You, because we've got it nine wide, we need to know how to count to five. There you go, that's how hard it's gonna be. <laughs> so you, you follow the center line down, come back a little bit, and place your first block. So now, right, okay, we're gonna count to five. So we have one block here, two blocks here, three blocks here, four blocks here, and five, okay? So that's all we're doing. You're counting upwards, and each time you go out, you add another block. So if you were doing 50, then you just continue this, but say add six here, seven here, eight here, and so on. Okay, so let's just do the other side. So counting back, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now you've got the shape of the bow, which is the part that touches the water, this bit here, okay? Now I usually do this part in red because, you know, on on most ships, the, the paint at the bottom, see this red line here? That's called anti-fouling, and that just means like seaweed and shells and stuff like that doesn't stick to the ship. Um, and basically this paint falls off over a period of time, and that way, whatever is stuck onto it drops off into the sea and it doesn't reduce drag and, and such that sort of thing. Okay, so we have our basic shape here. Now, so we've decided on the width. Now, the second thing we decide is the sort of shape of bow we want. Now, if you look over here, I've got some shapes here. If we go to the end, I've got a really simple one here. It just goes one up, one across, one up, one across. So it's like a diagonal 45 degrees straight looking bow. This one here goes up two, up two, and one across. So it's a less steep bow, but it's still kind of straight. This one here is also straight, but this is what you'd sort of have on a speedboat. You know, it comes out to one up, and it's so that's more sharp looking. And then this one here is like a curved shape. So it goes two up, and then two ones across, and then two over like that. And you get that sort of arc shape. Now, literally, there are hundreds of different shapes of bows you can make. I've just put four simple ones here, and yeah, there are loads you can make. Like, for instance, the one I used on this ship over here, it's sort of a curve upwards. It has three, three, I think that's five, three, three, four, and three, and it sort of gets you that curved shape like that. So literally, all, that's all you need to decide on. You don't need to think about the bow just yet. You just need to think about the shape of the front of the bow that you want. So on this one that I'm going to make in this tutorial, we are going to use this curved shape here. Now, the next part is really, really simple. Basically, all you need to do is place that curved shape 
on each one of these blocks. Okay, so let's start it off. So we're going two up, one across, one across, and two across. So let's have a look here. So we're going to put that shape on here, 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 and here. So let me just get that done for you. The reason that this method is so simple is because you only need to think of one pattern that you're going to make, and that's the shape we're putting here. And literally, you just repeat this on all the areas that I'm putting it here. You don't need to worry about anything here just yet, just on the ends of all of these, the bits that you can see from the front. So that's all you need to do. You just need to place that pattern over and over again on each one of these. So we're nearly done. And the reason this method is quite useful as well is because like I mentioned before, it doesn't limit you to one sort of ship. You can literally make any sort of ship you can think of using this method. Um, there are some other bows which are a lot more complex. Um, for instance, they're a different curved shape on the bottom than they are on the top, this bit here. And yeah, they are pretty tricky. I, I might do a tutorial later showing you how to make those. Um, but this is literally just a simple tutorial to get good looking bows really quickly. Okay, so we put our pattern on the end of each one of these blocks, like so, and yeah, you can see it's curving like this, we've got the shape carrying on, you can see the curve from the side, and the next bit is super easy. Basically, wherever you have a gap here, you just need to place a block. So we're just filling in the walls, because in reality, if we had holes like this, we'd have a, a hell of water coming in. So we don't want those. So just finish those off in whatever color you want your your ship to be um, so we've done that and finally you know just I'll just show you for now I'm not going to build the entire ship but just to make it look a little more finished I'll I'll just add some sides of the ship just to here okay so there you have it then there is a curved um, hull and that is like a nice simple bow okay um, now, like I said, just using the different methods, um, you can get different shape bows. So, for instance, here I made a curved one. This is a more straight one. Um, this is the one that goes, you know, it's straight, but it's it's less steep. And there are literally tons of different ones you can make. Um, and like I said, I used this exact same method for this one here. All I did, I decided on the width, which I think was eleven. No, no, sorry, much bigger than 11. Uh, 8, 9. That is 17. 17 blocks wide. Um, so literally, I just decided on this. Um, this one, I use a slightly different method on the floor here, um, which I can really quickly just show you just now. You see, I didn't start with one and go up. Um, that's just like a different shape. What I did there was I went two and then three and then three again and then four and you see it just got bigger that way and it gives you sort of a less steep curve but just for now guys try out with the method i showed you before just counting up from one to whatever number you go out to because of your width so for instance um if you were doing a a ship that had a width of 11 blocks wide you can have one in the middle and five either side like that um, you come back, place your one block like you did before, um, the two, the three, just counting up, the four, the five, and six. And see, you know, you have the same curve shape, but it's just going wider. So it's really simple to work out. Um, try it out, use these shapes of bows that I've got here, use this method, and trust me guys, it's a really simple and useful way to get awesome looking bows real fast. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys, I'll be back with more soon, um, see you next time.